What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Wavy, and we back with another video today. I know it's been a minute since y'all seen y'all, boy, but I am good. I am well. Everything is going good. I just got to get back consistent on, you know, making these videos. So today, we're going to hop right into it. We ain't even going to play. We ain't even going to play. We're going to hop right into it, y'all. We're going to get into these TikToks, these conspiracy theories. Whether you believe it or not, whether it's true or not, we're going to get into it. I'm going to leave it up to you. And drop in the comment section if y'all, what y'all like best, if y'all feeling it, if y'all rocking it, if I should keep going with these type of videos and let me know. But let's get right into it. Damn, Ice Spice, wow, I didn't even know she did all that. And they said that cross upside down, that's crazy. Conspiracy theories around Taylor Swift rigging the Super Bowl are swirling. Let me explain. It seems to have started earlier in January with Fox News talking head Jesse Waters floating the idea that the pop star is a government psyop on his show. Well, around four years ago, the Pentagon Psychological Operations Unit floated turning Taylor Swift into an asset during a NATO meeting. He then played a clip from this 2019 international conference on cyber conflict to back up his claim. So I include Taylor Swift in here because she's, um, you know, she's a fairly influential online person. I don't know if you've heard of her. However, the woman in the clip shown indeed does not work for the Pentagon, as Fox's Waters said. She was a researcher at John Hopkins at the time and was giving a presentation about how influential people can combat misinformation online. Days after he made the allegation, a Pentagon spokesperson denied the claim, using Taylor Swift lyrics to respond saying, quote, as for this conspiracy, we're going to shake it off. Swift endorsed <laughs> Biden in 2020 and urged her followers to register to vote. This is also being used by many online to inform their conspiracy theories about Taylor Swift. They see her relationship with Kansas City Chief star Travis Kelsey and the media focus on their relationship as reason to believe she's being used as a psyop to rig the Super Bowl and influence Americans to vote for Joe Biden this November. Then this past Monday, former presidential out, candidate Vivek Ramaswamy wrote on X, quote, I wonder who's going to win the Super Bowl next month. And I wonder if there's a major presidential endorsement coming from an artificially culturally propped up couple this fall. Mm. Wait Only a minute, yes. because I was today years old when Only I realized yes. that there's human-like figures in the background of backyardigans. Now, you might not realize it, but there's a couple of scenes what? where you'll see in the windows of the houses human-like figures this. standing in the windows as if they're watching the kids play. Now, some I ain't never watched Backyard again. So I wouldn't even them. know, but some theorize that's that creepy. A dark backstory to Backyard again. And this story gets so dark that it might haunt. Now, the story goes that it turns out that these Backyard again kids aren't just kids that play or animals that play, but in fact, mental patients. And that the people standing in the window are hospital nurses looking after these patients and making sure that nothing goes wrong because if you notice in the intro music they'll say we have the whole wide world in our yard to explore because that's all they've ever known there's a cia document that came out everybody just starts talking about it now it basically explains how the world is going to end has it been true it makes sense they say the world is going to end because the poles like you know north and south pole they shift every 12,000 to 15,000 years and once they shift it causes like a giant like apocalypse big earthquakes giant tsunamis once the apocalypse happens we go right back to the stone age and it said that our first humans like as us it was 10,000 years ago so if you think about it 10,000 years ago we're in year 2000 we're at 12,000 years right now. And now you see like global warming and like that. Like in the book, it says that we are the sixth civilization that came out of the apocalypse. So we just get to a certain point in life and then it just, and that explains a lot because remember how you were saying that the Sahara Desert used to be green and like Antarctica used to have forests like that. Yeah. That's what happens. Like it switches, like it switches everything and flips. Yeah. So now like some places turn cold, some places turn hot. That's why they was talking about like the flood in the Bible like yeah. that. That's probably what happened to Atlantis and shit. I was just about to say Atlantis. It would make sense for a city in the water if the water wasn't there before. Which right. in the matrix? Everybody sees me walking. I'm walking. Look. This plane isn't moving. It's not moving. No. But it sounds wow. like it's that got to be some cold ass editing the sun like what the that fuck? you won't fly commercial you said that it's like getting into a tube with a you bunch of demons why do you think that no listen to me this thing not the people 
The music ain't making it no better. The main reason is because of the need for the Inside Edition. You got to get this now. Hey, you listen to me? My, my wife thinks Inside Edition is, oh, yeah. <laughs> French Montana shared on his Instagram account Bro, like that 15 billionaires mask, are building please. bunkers these past few weeks. Don't you find that weird? Hold it's on, scary. On, In the see, last week, on, a hold on, on. y'all. It looked like he had a whole mask on his face. Did y'all see that, how the man, how the man looked? French Montana oh, shared. Oh hell no! Nah, oh hell no! Nah. Do you see how that man face? His eyes is like what the. F I, I I know people, everybody ain't, you know, beautiful, but that nigga look damn the devilish. That's a little French Montana shared on his Instagram account that 15 billionaires are building bunkers these past few weeks. Don't you find that weird? It's scary. In the last week, a surprising 15 billionaires secretly made underground bunkers. Billionaires like Mark Zuckerberg, OpenICO, Sam Altman, and yeah, even President that. Biden are in a rush to build their own bunkers. People who think about conspiracy theories don't believe that this is just a coincidence. So what do these super rich folks seem to know that we don't? With tensions worldwide really high, some think it's it's connected to possible chaos everywhere. Are billionaires getting ready for an economic collapse, natural disaster, or even nuclear war? It's extremely suspicious. One thing is clear. These bunkers are not just for show. They're high-tech shelters filled with years of supplies. But what's the scary threat that has the powerful people so worried? Some think it's just paranoid panic, but could billionaires really be getting inside warnings about a coming catastrophe? If the richest people are now looking for shelter, I mean, why not? should the rest of us start making our own plans? just in case bruh if you got if you got that so much control in the world like you rich you got all the money what makes you think somebody ain't giving you the early tip or you not knowing something before everybody knowing something like come on man and they ain't making these bunkers for no reason they ain't what they this ain't no collection this ain't no i'm just i just want to make this on no they, not everybody that make me worry bro i wish man that i gotta i gotta get right bro I got, they, they, I got to get a bunker, bro. Y'all come with me if y'all want it. Man, but we got to get it. We got to get it. Like, what the fuck? Like, that shit crazy. Like, and you know they going to have a couple people with them when they go. But we're going to talk about that some other time. Let's get back to it. Did you know about this? There's a theory that Antarctica isn't a regular continent, but a giant ice wall that exists to prevent us from seeing the rest of the world's continents as well as hiding other species away from us. Nobody has ever managed to reach the wall without freezing to death. And around 162 people have gone missing in the past attempting to find it. A lot of Christians will not listen to Taylor Swift anymore. They believe she's crossed a line. She's doing way too much demonic shit. There's a really interesting new crazy conspiracy theory about one of her songs in particular. Craziest conspiracy theory ever about Taylor Swift is that she is the rejuvenated clone of the high priestess of the Church of Satan, Zena LaVey. Their lips, nose, eyes look identical. They both happen to have the same fixation of snakes and snake handling. And it's insane because they're both renowned singer-songwriters. Like, that's their main job. Each of them they have too much in common. Now, in 2023, there's definitely been an uptick in the amount of demonic symbolism in Taylor Swift's music videos and songs. This amazing Christian TikToker, Karu, got millions of likes for saying, Here's why I don't listen to Taylor Swift anymore as a Christian. His theory that he talks about specifically is about the Willow music video where there's this string attached to her piano and anytime someone hears her play music, they get entranced and obsessed with her. They want to be by her. And his whole point was that people get so obsessed with Taylor to the point where they're almost worshipping her like she has their soul or something. In the video, she's on her ritualistic witch ceremony shit. He thinks all those oars represent people's souls who are obsessed with Taylor. And she follows that string right back to her piano because that's what gets people to be obsessed with her. That's where her power lies. This makes sense because Willow is very demonic coded on tour. Before I say the craziest part about this whole conspiracy theory, make sure you follow so you finally know the craziest conspiracy theories about each year's favorite celebrities and requests you want to see next. Taylor has a whole EP for this. I ain't, I ain't no Taylor Swift fan, nothing like that, so I don't really know. 
uh, or about her music and all that. But if that's how her concerts be, count me out. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. A song called The Witch Collection with songs like Dancing Witch Version, Lonely Witch Version, Moonlit Witch Version. But she's admitting she's a witch. Yo, yo. For context, this came out in 1934. What exactly was happening here? At first, it looks family friendly, but then things seem to take a strange turn. For one instance, she seems to be pulling down her dress a lot. It could be nothing, but if you look into her interviews, things become apparent that there is more than meets the eye. TikTok, this is just for entertainment purposes only. One guy, when I left Fox, I went to MGM for one picture. Thank goodness, only one. And when I got there with my mother, we were separated. And I went into the office of Arthur Freed, and he was going to talk to me about a, a movie he wanted to put me in. I'm 12 years old, you know. Instead, he was an exhibitor. I'd never seen anyone naked before, except myself. So I had no clue about what was happening. So it struck me so funny, I laughed at him. And he got infuriated. And he said, out, 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 go. So I tell your mother. Well, I, she came out very quietly from Louis B. Mayer's office, and we walked in, and this island has one of the most disturbing histories in America, and no one really knows the full truth behind it. So like I said before, this island was owned by multimillionaire Francis Sheldon, pictured right here. And Francis and a number of other local men from Michigan, including this guy, Gerald S. Richards, ran a boys camp on the island. They would fly kids to the island on this airstrip, kids from the YMCA and other schools and communities in the area. And both the children and the parents of the children who attended this boys camp were told that this was an island of fun where kids could relax. They had big brothers there. It was going to be totally safe. And this camp ran on this island for a period of years. Then one day, some of the kids who attended the camp began to tell their parents that the counselors or the teachers, the adults that were there on the island, had behaved with them in very, very inappropriate ways. They began telling their friends and parents that they were taken into these cabins pictured here on the island. They were assaulted. They were told to remove all of their clothing and that there were cameras all over the place. Well, it turns out that this guy, the multimillionaire with political and business connections in the area, Francis Sheldon, was running a massive CP ring. And they had been abusing the children on this island under the guise of bringing them to a boys camp for years, recording all of it, selling it across the world. And some of the more affluent clients of their business were even allowed to take trips to the island themselves to hey, see some of these hey, young boys. Hey, nah, nah, nah. I could believe that almost like some girls gone wild type of shit. They something. To... That's crazy, bro. Like, this world we live in is wicked, man. Now, this story bears an obvious resemblance to the story of Jeffrey Epstein, but there are some very, very strange things that are happening here that nobody knows about, and the government still refuses to talk about to this day. So let's talk about this guy, Gerald S. Richards. He was a gym teacher at a local Catholic school who went down for the crimes, and he was heavily involved with every aspect of this business, if you know what I mean. Well, it seems like through his political and business connections, Francis Sheldon was actually tipped off that he was about to be arrested and raided and charged with these horrific crimes. So Francis, before he could be brought to justice for these crimes, he actually fled the country in a personal plane. He then moved to France, got remarried, and died in Amsterdam, and never had to pay for any of the crimes that were committed here. But it's when we start talking about the murders that this story really starts to blow my mind. So take a good look at this guy, Chris Bush. This is Christopher Bush's father, Harold Lee Bush. Now, he was an executive with General Motors, and the family was obviously extremely wealthy. They were politically connected, and they were very connected to every business in the area. These guys had a lot of power. But back to Christopher Bush. This guy had assaulted a number of children. He'd been let out of prison, let out of jail in a very, very suspicious way, multiple times, put on bail for serious offenses. And he was a alleged associate of the crime ring that was happening on North Fox Island. Meaning that, like I said earlier, he was one of those people who could afford to actually fly out to the island to do things himself. I'm out of time. Follow for part three. This is where it gets juicy. 
All right, guys. I need that part three. We're pretty sure we're onto a pretty big conspiracy theory here, so stay tuned. We'll show you what's going on here. And we are currently in a place that has this logo on there. As you can see, we're in that place. They're putting a new thing in. What's this little guy? Kmart. Now we're not. Kmart. Need to be a bit um, a bit quiet here, don't we? Right, yeah. We're not. We're not sure if they're changing from one to the other. I did hear a rumor that they are this particular shop that we currently are in are going to be stocking that Anko brand, which belongs to the other shop. But I don't know. I just can't. I think it's really odd that they've got one label on one bit. Yeah. Very interesting. 2024 is going to be very... The latest predictions from The Simpsons for 2024 Kmart, are genuinely like eerie. Like this one is absolutely disturbing. In season 24, oh, episode no, 9, Homer it's Simpson is preparing a bunker fully stocked with provisions for his family, anticipating something dreadful on the horizon. Shortly after, a solar superstorm strikes Springfield, a silent, invisible tempest sweeping through the town, causing severe consequences. No internet, no electricity, everything comes to a standstill. A solar Solar superstorm could wipe out the internet for weeks or even forever. Interestingly, NASA has recently made a shocking discovery, a massive hole in the sun called the Coronel Hole. This hole, large enough to engulf 60 Earth-sized planets, is currently releasing solar storms at a staggering speed of... Hey, you know what that made me think about? Just the other day, when everybody's phones was going out, and like... Well, not everybody's, but y'all know what companies when a lot of companies going out because it could have been my phone company too. Like you just never know. But you seen how the world was like in a small little frenzy. People was mad. People was like making fun of the next person. Like it all over some phone service. You feel me? Like. 1.5. The Earth's solar system is now at 1.8 million miles per hour and could be headed to Earth fast. The last time the Earth experienced such a storm was in 1859. It was known as the Carrington event. The 2024 solar storm is predicted to be 60 times more powerful than the 1859 solar storm, possibly the strongest ever recorded in history. There's a new scary Simpsons theory that I see. What is it? You is know it? that the Simpsons predict a lot. Yeah. So, but the Simpsons. It's a new uh, episode. In 2024, they predicted it. So in season 24, episode 9, Homer Simpson uh, is in a bunker and he's preparing for like a doomsday thing nah. with Marge. And she's like, uh, they're setting up all the rice, all the beans, because they're like, we don't know how long this is going to take place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then over Springfield, the solar sto storm happens. Mm -hmm. Electricity is gone. Wi-Fi is gone. They have to live in that bunker. Mm -hmm. The scientists have said recently. Mm -hmm. And they said that we're going to experience a solar storm, a.k.a. Oh, shit. Internet apocalypse. We yeah. don't know where it ends, but you know what I mean? We don't know who decides that, mm -hmm. right? But they's, they've been saying that the sun has been getting super active and they've been finding holes super big holes in the sun that have been causing these like um these solar storms in different parts of the the world yeah, yeah. this is in 2024 and it's happening right now damn so they predict that shit we don't know it hasn't happened yet but you know how they predict no, stuff. because yo you heard what happened like recently just 10 of the most known billionaires yeah. have bought bunkers hey man hey i'm a, like i said i'm gonna leave it up to y'all to believe it or not man because they dead on the phones just went out the other day the phones just went out the other day that's crazy they found these bunkers up man man y'all already know man it's been a pleasure man if y'all want me to keep making these videos man drop a like in the um in the comment section drop some drop some comments you know man do all that good shit. hit that subscribe button man it's your boy your favorite stoner wavy i'm out of here man so y'all for real, y'all y'all ain't gonna hit that subscribe button. Y'all just gonna exit out the video without hitting. Y'all wild as hell. Y'all wild as hell. Keep that same energy. Nah, no, just playing dog. Hit that button though. Hit that button. Quit playing.